In 2020, I looked at the Trek Marlin 5, arguably Trek's most popular entry-level mountain bike. 2021, I gave the Marlin 5 another peak. For 2022, things are a bit different. It's still a Marlin 5, but for most people, myself included, we think of a 29er mountain bike when we think of a Marlin. And some of you may be aware that it drops to 27.5 for the small and extra small models. But did you know that there is an extra extra small? Quite a bit different than its siblings, well different in a same-ish sort of way, it's still a Marlin 5. But the components for the extra extra small model, you know, let's just get right to it. Like these handlebars that are not as wide, 690 millimeters versus the normal 720. Those still 31.8 millimeter diameter, so you'd think the stem would be the same. Well, you would be wrong. It's not as long. It's only 35 millimeters. Though it is blender compatible like the other bikes in this line, grips are the same on all the sizes, and they are Bontrager XR Endurance Comp, which is a fancy way of saying basic lock-ons. Along with those, all the Marlin 5s get the same shifters. These are Shimano M315 8-speed shifters, at least on the right. On the left, they're 2-speed. Hydraulic brakes provide the stopping power, Tektro branded, model info in just a second. And yes, you're seeing it right. 2022, still rocking the straight steerer head tube, which means this is a straight steerer fork, and there are four forks across all the sizes of the Marlin 5 frames. All being Suntour XCTs, except for this one. With its 100 millimeters of travel, this is a Suntour XCM30. Curiously, this has 100 millimeters of travel, but the frame size one up only has 80. So I guess a win for this 26er. Yeah, 26. Those are 26 inch Bontrager connection rims, double wall alloy. XR2 tires, 26 by 2.20. 26 inch wheels is less rolling mass, but it does get the same brakes. Tektro hydraulic HD M275s. And that's disc front and rear, both rotors 160 millimeter. Hubs are both formula at the rear, a DC-22 with 135 millimeters of spacing and a quick release. DC-20 up front also with quick release. We know this is a 2x drivetrain thanks to the shifters up top and this 2x it's a 36-22 tooth. The same as the other Marlin 5s, but these crank arms unique to this frame size, 160 millimeter. This bike's gonna need a derailleur for those front two gears and this one is a Shimano Altus M315. At the rear, another M315 Altus. There's not much to say about the Altus. It's better than a Torney, but not as good as some other stuff. It's entry level. I just did a video on derailleur hangers that you should watch. But these rear eight speeds, it's not a freewheel. This is a cassette, a Shimano HT200. Range 12 to 32 tooth. This seat post, the smallest I think I've seen on a Trek mountain bike. Not the diameter, that's 31.6 millimeters, but the length, this one's only 300. Though it is alloy and it has a good angle adjustment set up for the Bontrager Arvada saddle, which I think they use on just about all of the Marlins. So if you're shopping for a Marlin, I hope you like the Arvada. And by the way, here's that 300 millimeter seat post at max extension. On to the frame, which is clearly channeling the old Gary Fisher Pro Caliber fade. It's beautiful and it's called Volt to Miami Green. And like all Trek frames, it has a very nice build quality. And the usual mount points if you want to add a rear rack. Silver Alpha Aluminum in the small didn't keep it from having cage bosses. Like the other Marlin 5s, this extra extra small has internal cable routing. Graphics on this color scheme black, and this one has those nice accents on the underside of the top tube. And the extra touches that I expect from Trek, like this factory applied rubberized chainstay protector. Marlin on a Marlin? That's here too. So for sure, a Marlin 5, just extra extra small, which means 26 inch wheels. And a few other tweaks. If this color isn't your thing, don't worry, even the extra extra small frame gets the radioactive red, the lithium gray, and the azure blue options. Pricing, it's steep. $719.99, and that's for all the sizes. I also want to note that aside from the few component differences that I've shown you in this video, there is one other unique thing to the extra extra small frame, which by the way is a 13.5 inch frame, but what makes this unique versus the other Marlins, it has a slacker head tube angle, 68.6 degrees. So if you're out at the mountain bike trail and someone else on a Marlin 5 points out your extra extra small frame, you can mention that yours has a more aggressive head tube angle. And there's your look at the 26 inch extra extra small framed Trek Marlin 5 for 2022. Did you know there was even a 26er Marlin 5 available? Comment below and also with what you think about this look. 
and the new higher price, is it worth it? I have more 2022 Marlins coming, so stay tuned, which means make sure you are subscribed and you have that notification bell active. Thanks for watching Kev Central. Have a great day.